Hey there, I'm Mark Toaster Torle, and today we take a look at what it was like to hang out in the Kokiti Cabin during the Olympics. Yellow means amber, red means stop, but green, it means go. Let's go. What is the Kokanee Cabin and what happened there during the Olympics? Well, the Kokanee Cabin during the Olympics was a temporary structure that looked like the inside of the classic, iconic mountain cabin that was made to party in. And people spilled beer on the floor and they danced on the tables and they screamed and yelled during the games and, and it was awesome. It was, it was the ultimate place to party during the games in Whistler. So much fun, I had the greatest time ever. The people were just full of energy and the spirit and everything was great for Canada. People were cheering on Canada. It was, oh, it was so much fun, I loved it and it was just great, tons of fun. The energy was electric, people were stoked. The whole town was kind of on fire during that era and uh, it, the consistency of the show is playing every day and having a lot of people come to every show really made it feel like a great big, the whole community was a big family experience. And it just kept ramping up. Every time we won a medal, the place would get crazy. The games would be on the big screens behind us while we played. And that just was a, a real experience I'll never forget. It was important for the town and really big for us. And it just seemed to go by in a flash. A totally different experience than working in here. Generally, I've worked here for 10 years and just survived there. It was so good. It was just super happy and fun. Every day coming to work was so much fun. What happened in the Kokanee Cabin when Team Canada struck gold in hockey? We were actually outside the, the cabin loading gear in and we were watching it on the big screen while everyone else was in the bar. We were in between shows trying to set up for the next one and of course we were ahead and they tied it up with 24 seconds to go. You could hear the entire town go, oh no! We're out in the parking lot going, ah! So we were riveted for the, for the overtime and when Crosby scored it was just like the whole place exploded. You could hear the entire town of Whistler all at once just go, yeah! Crosby scored between the legs of uh, Ryan Miller. That was pretty awesome. And then, uh, yeah, the roof went up about a quarter inch at least. I think at the new Kokanee Cabin, you can look forward to an endless supply of ice cold, glacier fresh, Kokanee beer, a bunch of crazy, energetic, enthusiastic staff ready to serve it to you and a good time. It's the home of the hair farmers. It's got the best deck in Whistler and uh, it's the home of the endless apparel. You have to come to the Kokanee cabin in Whistler because you will never forget it. Ever. That's the end of another Kokanee free ride video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to find out where we're going to be in the coming weeks, please go to whistlerblackcomb.com forward slash Kokanee. Also, if you want to know where all the Kokanee events will be going on during the TELUS World Ski and Snowboard Festival, just go to WSSF.com. Until next time, I'm going to get up there, enjoy some amazing late season conditions here on Whistler Blackcomb. I'm your host, Mark Toaster Torley, and we will see you soon.